holler and holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. I got some good news. Oh, we're rolling? I got some great news. I got some amazing news right now, Joey. Better get ready to spit. Because we don't got much time, we don't Cat Daddy. We don't got much time. Do you like the name Cat Daddy? I like Cat Daddy. Everyone, thanks for listening to the episode of Full Buddy Cast Presents Holland with Hollenbeck with Joey Hollenbeck on the mic. Hello. It's been a while. Not really. Oh, kind of. It? Week? But. But week. It's been a week or so. How are you doing on those Cold Street Brews over there? Want me to pop a few more over there? Uh, I have one. One more? I have one more. Okay, let me get some more. Make it number two. Uh, Joey, give a quick intro if you want while I get you another beer. Quick intro. Maybe about the show. About the show. Okay. How long has it been going? All that fun stuff. For the for the first time listeners. Um, my name is Joey Hollenbeck. <laughs> uh, Travis and I live in a small town outside of Seattle. I'm a Pisces. And All right. that's Trev. That's perfect. Perfect intro. Very good. I think it informed a lot of people. So we went to the same uh, high school, small town, different grades. He's 45. I am 28. <laughs> and uh, I think he was my coach in EHS basketball, or when I was like a was like Park, Parkinson Rec. I think you were my basketball coach. I'm 41, bitch. <laughs> and I am 39. I'll be 40 soon. By the way, this, just this week, Full Buddy Cast crossed, Full Buddy Cast crossed 40,000 streamed episodes this week thank you the listeners thank you listeners want to shout out the uh, patreons and the sponsors thank you very much sponsors cold street brewery mazatlan what up andy but let me do this one uh cold street brewery what up sean uh mazatlan and enumclaw what up andy and then bordo wine bar what up all you guys over there Thank you very much for the sponsorships. The Patreons, though, added a few more, and I got a shop hasn't been working, and so it's finally working again. But here we go. We got Cassie Scott. We got Casey Spencer. Uh, I messed that up already. We got Casey Scott, Cassie Spencer, <sighs> Eric Madrid, Kellen Hall. Stop this. These guys support us. I know. I was talking about you messing up. Oh, please. Uh, Adam Kenny, who owes you money from a poker game. We'll get to that in a, yeah. in a second. Uh, we've got <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Holly Graff. De- Desi B, non Anon. Um, we've got Andy Cardin is jumping on. Uh, we also have Amanda Keating. We have uh, see. This is where it starts. The train starts slowing down just just a bit. Even though they've been they've been around forever. Uh, one I got to shout out one of these guys. The oh Shekinah Sarver, and uh, also got to shout out. I'm saving, oh, Jared Skelly and Seth Loop, obviously, of course. But here's the crazy one. Here's the good one. And that, these guys are all great. Ira Potter. Ira Potter, shout out to him. Changed his changed his uh, Patreon from $5 a month to $50 a month. Whoa. He made the jump. Whoa. He made the jump. So Ira Potter Whoa. gets a special shout out. Ira, you're invited. Because of the $50, you get invited to, uh, I'm going to give it to you three. Three episodes of whatever one you want. If you want to come on this one and be a guest at some point, absolutely. Garage Nights, Open to You, Brew Ha Ha, and any other ones out there as well. So, Joey, it's been a bit. How you doing, bud? Doing good, man. Vegas. Want to talk Vegas a little bit? Sure. How was it? There we go. That's weird. We have never talked this before, so I'm glad we are bringing it up. Real, real quick, Vegas. I won a hand pay, my first hand pay in Vegas. I right won- now? Last week? Yeah. A couple weeks ago? Yeah. Whenever you yeah. were there? Yeah. yeah. Your first hand pay. No. Remember? You know why? Because I won, I won hand on. pays in Muckleshoot. Hold not, on. Not let a, me. Yeah. Let okay. me. All right. If you, you, if you step back to our, one of our last episodes, yes. I asked you, how many hand pays have you ever had in Vegas? And you said none. None. So I said, you go there and just piss away your money. Yeah. And I was like, when I left, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sprinkle a little of that gold dust on my boy. <laughs> And I thought that in my mind. I was like, he's going to get it. And there you go. How much? 2600 Snaps. So when are you going back? <laughs> <laughs> not not for a while. Um, ask how much came back with me on that. How much came? Zero. 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 Well, but, it's free but, money, but, right? But it paid for the rest of the trip. It paid for this trip. Dinners and other gambling spots and this and that. So it was like. I did it, notice it, you it, had some oysters and oh, some yeah. whatnot. Oh yeah, oysters. We went to this one spot. They they made a uh, they had an old fashioned cart. They brought the they brought the cart, put it in front of you, and this uh, nice waitress. She she smoked 
smoked the the glass. Where was where was it? Where was uh, it? I, I honestly don't know. It's one of those times where you just kind of like you, you've been drinking a bit. How many Coors light? How many Coors lights were you in? Uh, it, plenty. Like thirty. Pl- plenty. Yeah, like, probably plenty. Thirty. I, I'm on a diet right now. I just popped a Modelo, but I am the the uh, the Cole Street Modelo, and. <laughs> 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 so just just joking uh ran out did of you the, find the chris farley picture no i didn't i didn't but this, oh, can i tell you this story yeah let's go okay it is called trav trav's podcast <laughs> chat with trav Tra- uh anyway real quick shout out to leah keller she is a dealer at the d a dealer at the d in in vegas there What's on the, the old, old town is there's it's like Gold Nugget, Binion's, the D. It's a whole casino. Now in this I casino, bet that's your favorite casino. I love it. The D. Oh yeah, I bet it's you great. do. Yeah, I do love the D. <laughs> I love, I love the D so much. And here's why: they're fun. The dealers have a personality. They talk to you. They're also in like cocktail, like they're not cocktail dresses. They kind of, it, 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 it's a little skimpy. Let's just say it's a little skimpy, but they, it's it's classy skimpy. Anyway, they're the the girls are beautiful there. They're 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 very nice. Everyone's very nice there. Jamie and I will gamble blackjacks. So we're, we're gambling the blackjack, and I and I was winning. I was doing great, and every bet I would put a five dollar out there that if I won, the dealer would win. And so we were just feeding her, feeding her, feeding her, so much so that she didn't want to break the the vibe that we were, we were having such a good vibe, good time. Turn people away. Uh yeah. Someone had spilled on the on the uh, yeah. Someone had spilled wink on the. Uh, <laughs> For like, she kept she put little plastic things out saying it was wet. No, oh. So people were walking up like, so it's just wet. It's wet right now. We gotta, we gotta, uh, we, we we gotta let that just kind of sit for a little bit. Oh, and so you guys are all winning, three we're, of you. We're winning. We're having a good time, and we didn't want the vibe to be broken. So any, she, if people came up, she just so you know, it's wet over there. Someone puked. Someone puked over there. She would say that. Yeah. So people are like, oh, okay, and then they walk away, go to another table and play. They're still playing. They're still gambling. She was not breaking the vibe. So then. I said, this has got to go. This is going on the podcast. This is like probably like 1 30 in the morning. I'm, I'm saying, this is going to go on the podcast. She goes, You got a podcast, huh? So we, so then she goes, Hey, let's go talk. So she was off at 3 a.m. They have an upstairs bar at the D. So we met her, me and Jamie went, met her at the upstairs bar at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Still slamming some beers, having, having a quick drink, met a few other dealers there. And then, uh, Took a picture with her, posted on Full Buddy Cast. Bro, did you get the Facebook? you get the uh, f- you got you got the Full Buddy treatment, dude. Full Buddy treatment, FBC coins. So what'd you get? Right. Anything out of deal? Well, no, what? yeah, she, she she shared the Full Buddy Cast on her page. She's a friend on, on Facebook now. Nice. I mean, she's she's out there promoting us, and so hopefully that will also blossom. And she said, anytime we go down there, hey, let's hang. So. Go say hi to her if you guys go down to the D. Oh, man. I know a few of you guys go down to Vegas every once in a while. Go down to the D. If you see Leah, uh, uh, and they have, like, name tags around their, around their neck, like, like nice little, like, collar. It says Leah on it. Then uh, go say, hey, full buddy cast. Travis sent me. And then uh, and then, and then uh, he'll reap the benefits when he goes back down there. <laughs> it would be kind of cool if, like, one person did that in a year. <laughs> if, if one person could do that, let me know. And if you get a picture with her. I'll send you a t-shirt. I'll send you a t-shirt. So, won't be a Holland with Hollandbeck t-shirt, but it'll be a t-shirt. It'll, you know, we're in talks right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What's what? What do you got going on? Oh, man, I'm busy, busy, busy. Work yeah, busy. Work busy. What do you got going on in the next couple of days? Oh, heading to Pullman. Heading to Pullman. I'm actually heading to Pullman here real soon. Going back to the roots. You're going back to the roots. Uh, Gonna go play a little stickball. Go, go play a little golf on the Palouse. They golf. have a little legends thing going. So legends, huh? Yeah. In your legend, and what uh, like what does that mean? Like, is it all these like different type of? Uh, I mean, there's poog? the list that I got is like Dennis Erickson, Mike Price, coaches, players. The new staff will be there with us. Uh, just all playing in a, in, in a tournament now. Do you have, do you get kind of randomly put on a team, or is it just do you bring a like? Let's say yeah, 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 yeah. You randomly get put on a team. Yeah, I think they mix it all up, put you on a team. Who who have you been on? A, is this like your first this fourth? Is, this is the really the first time I've ever done it. Last no year I was going to go with COVID. Oh, so this is the first yeah, this time. Is, yeah, I can't wait to hear about this then. Yeah, I'm pumped. It's going to be nice to be back in uh, Pullman and 
Do we know if anyone else is going? We got MK with MK on here. Do you know if he's going out there? I don't know if he's going. Uh, anybody else you've been in contact with that might be down there? Uh, How'd you hear about it? They, I'm on a list, and they just hit you up. They're trying to find as many players as they can. So if you're a Cook football player, hit me up. Yeah, let me know because they're trying to grow this list. The original email I got like two or three years ago was like, UW has like 600 players to go and. Former something, something maybe it wasn't six hundred, maybe right. it was like two hundred or something. But right. they were like, "That's bullshit. We got to get the Cougs up." So that's what we're doing. Nice, yeah, that'd be fun, yeah. And then uh, I don't know if you noticed. I think you and I are like brothers right now with our tans right now, man. We look. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> I mean, I mean, kind of. I mean. I mean, I'm wearing a dark T-shirt. You're wearing a light T-shirt. Yeah, that's, it's kind of dark I'm, in here. I meant the dude. Look, I mean, like I mean, you went to Vegas. If you, if I came back Schlein. from Vegas, and Schlein, yeah. if I came back from Vegas, what you just you would just look like freaking uh, see nothing but teeth over here in this <laughs> darkness. <laughs> just that that tan. Mm-hmm. Um, well, so the first time golfing, or have you been go- golfing this year? Is this like, be like I think I've been the once this year. How's the shoulder? Shoulder's good. I'm good. I'm good. My hip's been jacked up a little bit lately, but that's all right. She'll come back. She'll come back. She'll yeah. come back. So I strap on them golf shoes. You know what I mean? They got little spikes on them, kind of like cleats. You gotta <laughs> suck it up. A uh, lot of lot of questions right now from from the listeners. Uh, Casey Scott asked, "Have you been back to India or o- Ohio since? No, nor will I ever. You've never been back to Ohio in the last month and a half. Yeah, you know, you like you're still." You still it's still on your no flies no fly yeah, list. There's no flights going out of there. Obviously, <laughs> you can get in there, but you ain't getting out. You can get in there, but you are not getting out of there. So um, no, yeah, definitely not going back to Ohio. Although it was like I was talking to one of my buddies, he was like, "How was it?" And I was like, "You know what? It wasn't that bad. Like it was cool. Like everything was kind of spread out. Like all the houses were nice on like huge lots. Like it was cool the way that everything was." Some good restaurants, some cool places to hang out, but like, it's I felt like I was trapped. I felt like I was in an escape state. <laughs> like I couldn't get anywhere. Like escape room, I couldn't get out couldn't of Ohio. Get out of there. Yeah, just stuck. Yeah, yeah. So it was cool. It was awesome. I love going from Ohio to Chicago to Chicago to Bozeman, Montana. From Bozeman, Montana to Seattle. You're like, where in the world is Kermit San Diego? I didn't even know where I was, dude. Uh, have you listened? Have I shared the one with uh, Seth? talked a little bit more he has a good story about i haven't shared that one that's going to go out here next you just have him on with me one of these nights he would love to seth would love to be on here with you guys just you pull you i feel like full buddy is just like seth had a story i'm going to share it you guys are talking all about me but instead of just with me (laughs) you know what i mean yeah we should bring you in on this hey i'll keep you afloat as long as i can buddy (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so he did say though <coughs> that he was uh, for a forest for a well I don't want to I don't I don't want to I mean he's going to tell this I haven't released this episode yet I don't think but there he did say that there was a point where he was a forest fire like a wildfire firefighter early on yeah and he couldn't go more than forty minutes away and he took you all the way out to like Mercer Island. And uh, for you to buy, or Gig Harbor or something, for you to buy. He said he, he I didn't know he could never go for more than 40 he couldn't, minutes away. He didn't, he didn't. And he didn't tell you that, but he's like, yeah, sure. You're like, but he's like, oh, hopefully there's no wildfires. Because you have to get to a landing zone for a helicopter to take you there. So oh. he, when he dropped you off yeah. and he was out. He said, you're going to buy this car? And you're like, I'm probably going to buy this car. He goes, okay, then you're going to buy this car because I, I got to leave. <laughs> <'Cause he> went, <laughs> no, that was like Bash on Island or someplace <laughs> weird. Yeah, I remember that was, I bought a... a Zuzu Trooper. Four door. Hey, had to get that SUV before I went to college, bud. <laughs> Wasn't going in there in the old Toyota Celica that I drove in high school. It was a good rig. It was great. It was great. Everything was great and until I got like four football players in at one time and some big ass dude I was driving and got behind me and like grabbed my seat to pull in, completely snapped the bracket. So like you know how you'd like if I'm driving, right? Yeah. If you're driving a car like your right side, how you'd like try to lean back. Right. It was like completely like broken off. So it always looked like I had that like gangster Tennessee lean. lean or that ga- gangster <laughs> lean oh, at all points. I was like, this is stupid. I tried to have people welded. I tried to do all this stuff. And never they sold it like that. 
Wow. Oh, sold it like that? And the I mean, t- I think I probably snuck some duct tape in there. <laughs> Patched her up. Guy hits a speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> Guy sits in it. <laughs> Test drive it. What'd you do, bro? <laughs> What'd you do? It's yours now. <coughs> you broke my seat. It's I'm trying to sell this car. You broke my seat. It's yours now. You're, all right. Break it. You buy it. Uh, yeah. He said that he had a speed back. Didn't get there in time. He had to drive like three hours to the to the wildfire area and that was his first strike and that was like within like the first like couple weeks he was doing this so he was really yeah oh yeah 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 anyway i didn't know that yeah so thanks for driving though yeah i know i feel i feel like uh i feel like you should i feel like you should invite him on like you should say hey seth come on buddy we'll talk why don't you give a formal invite right now hey He's, seth he come listens. on buddy let's talk i like that i like that did i say it right yeah, that's pretty good. That was, that's good, good that was a good invite. That was a good oh, you invite. You want me to say it more like you? Hey, buddy, come on. Why don't we come on and we talk? We used to do Holler Back with Friends. So, uh, Holler Holl- Back with Friends. So, we bring, we could revive that a little bit. Oh, my schedule's so screwy. Yeah, it is kind of It is kind of tough rough. to get friends in here besides you. Yeah. You're not I know. Even really my friend. <laughs> I know. I've noticed that. <laughs> I've oper- you got an opportunist. It's just, oh, this guy. Let me just. Uh, it works. It works, bro. Yeah, I know. I like it. Uh, if you guys are looking for, to go to a garage sale or buy a boat, please hit us up. Garage sale here in the next uh, week and a half. Uh, boat 60 large. Boat 60 large posted. Posted on, on Facebook Marketplace. Share the heck out of it. Let's get that thing sold. Uh, let's see what else we got. What do you got for me? That's all you got in Vegas. So, you, what were you playing in Vegas? So, I, you know, just play- tell me, just tell me the deal. Did you go to that sport book pool thing uh, you were no, talking about? No, I didn't. We did go to the pool, but we got ushered out. How like, did the cabana go? It went great until lightning came through. Like they, they had to clear the. Are pool you talking deck. about when you when you dropped your shorts? I dropped my shorts, and everyone was like, "Uh, oh, no, that would actually that didn't clear the pool. That brought everyone out of the pool towards me." <laughs> but <laughs> that was weird. Uh, but yeah, no, we did the whole uh, day bed and had our bloody Marys and had our, you know, the whole the whole thing, bucket of beers. Uh, it was hot. It was, it was 103 degrees. Lightning came degrees. through. They didn't Lightning want you in came the pool. through at three. They cleared everything off and then we didn't go back. But it sounds like you guys didn't get much sleep, huh? We honestly didn't get much sleep. We, well, not if you're interviewing people at three in the morning. Yeah, that was kind of. Did you interview a, them around, or did no, you just hang out? With just them? hung out with her. I said, I said, I'm going to tell a story about the podcast, but you like, ush, like people were coming up like. Like probably about five or six times. Uh, sorry, someone puked there, sir, and it's wet, and we can't have you there. I'm so sorry. How did the 3 a.m. conversation come about after the fact? It was just uh, she said, "Hey, I'm off at three. If you guys want to hang, what time was this at? Like two fifteen. Oh. And so we're like, yeah, we're we're not going anywhere. So then we went upstairs, or went up not upstairs. And I tell this like it's very creepy. Yeah, There's an upstairs kind of bar. Creepy. There's others. So we went up to the upstairs so we bar. Upstairs. So we went upstairs. Did you take a bath? I took, we took a little bit of a... No, did you take a bath this time? Yeah. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> my back was broke. I hurt my back so bad that I've never you, been in so much pain in my life. It's because I was trying to carry two cases of water this time from Walgreens? <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, it, it, was from, it was from the week prior. But my legs were on fire. My thighs were on fire. Like on, I had a Tylenol. I was living on Tylenol and cold compresses the whole time. Really, so bad. Yeah. Well, I, do, you, do you have a different? Just, just be real with me. Okay, what's up? When you get to Vegas, do you have like a different personality? A little bit. Like you popped in there and you're like dropping like, "Yo, I do podcasts. Can I get a couple extra chips here?" <laughs> like this guy, this guy, the no, D, no, D, no, at the, D at no. the dealer's table. This guy needs a drink ASAP. He's, He's famous. famous. He's famous. He's famous. That's how I am on Cole Street. Do you do that? But though? in Vegas, no. You don't uh, play the card? I don't play the card. No, I'm honestly, I'm, th- this is how my personality goes. I immediately turn into like when you get the wristband at King County Fair for all free rides. Like you just like your eyes get large and you get that like, like little anxiety in your stomach. Like I got to have as much fun as I possibly can in the next six hours. Like that is, I got to ride every ride like at least 10 times. Like I, I get over, but this time, this time though, I told Jamie, I, I have a spreadsheet of our, pl- I plan everything this time. She hates no, that, right? No plans. Exactly. We talked about this. She hates it. She hates No it. plans this I, time. I had no plans. And we enjoyed it. It was like, hey, we're going to go here. Oh, hey. You, you, so the, for the 30th on the 29th <laughs> time in Vegas in the last year, we enjoyed it. I'm taking recommends, though. Because I might be I might be officially, like, the three the three or four times a year to Vegas may now dwindle down to, like, two. So Uh-oh. I'm, so Somebody's I'm getting burnt out. Going to Hawaii in October. 
Well, looking forward okay. to that. But any other recommends on places that you think you know me pretty well? Okay. It doesn't have to involve gambling. But I also get bored out of my mind in areas. So I don't so want to. What are you going to do in Hawaii? What's your plan in Hawaii? That is going to be probably just sightsee, sightsee, vibe, vibe, beach, beach, drink, 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 beach, drink, not- luau. Like, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, but you understand that you can't just go to the beach and drink, 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 drink. They don't have people walking around. It's not Mexico. I told you this before. I can't go to the beach and just drink? Uh, maybe if you bring your own. I don't know. I don't remember like what a cool the laws are. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I don't remember what the laws are, but you don't have a wait, uh, like a wait staff waiting on you on the beach. Are there areas where they might be like? Yeah, the pool at your hotel. That's it? The bar. Huh. Yeah, bro. Huh. You? I'm not going. Me. You're not going to get a cabana, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, where have you gone where you feel I would really enjoy Mexico? See, I'm scared to death. No. I'm, I'm, de- I'm deathly scared. You're too. You're too. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd go to Mexico right now either, but like <laughs> people are, I know people that are go all the time and right. they just say it's amazing. And then you turn but on you go to Cabo. NBC and there's someone who just got murdered there. No, like, but no, if you don't, if you go there and be stupid, you're going to get in trouble. But if you go to like get picked up from the airport, blaze directly to your all inclusive hotel where yeah. you're going to eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want and hang out by the pool all day and just chill and relax, you're golden. golden. You don't have to worry about anything. Okay. But you, I don't, I don't picture you like hangover coming out with like a face tattoo and like <laughs> not remember what happened. <laughs> have you done having a- tequila shots with some cartel members? But yeah, no vacations. Have you done? Have you done a? Uh, have you done a cruise before? No, nah, I don't know if I'm into cruises, bro. Is it just because of the big? You're just out there. I mean, uh, away from everything with yeah. water, can't get out. Yeah, too many like, too many things on the news. Like, oh, well, oh, this one's. Uh, <laughs> This one's like rogue wave. This one's ran land, and uh, they're in the middle of nowhere, and nobody's going to go save them for the next month and a half. So they're going to sit in their <laughs> six by six uh, room. <laughs> Sewers backing up, and we're running out of food, and yeah. we have two COVID patients on board, <laughs> so we can't do shit. Twelve of them are zombies right now. There's there's a, there's a zombie <laughs> apocalypse. We can't do shit. Yet the Mediterranean looks amazing. <laughs> it's a great view. Look out your window. It's a great view to die. You guys can step out on your two by two patio. Just, it's just like porch, but play cribbage. It's about it, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's true. What about uh, no no cruises for me? I like the idea of it. I think they're. I think they would be fun. I like the idea of like open food anywhere, anytime. Drinks you got to pay for that sucks. But I, not my thing. I don't think. Now, what about like a chartered like uh, fishing trip? Like you're gonna go fish in? You know, nah, I'm not. I don't. I mean. I like to be by the water, feet in the water, maybe head under the water. Yeah. Not out in the middle of the water. Just deadliest catch. Not in the middle of nowhere water. <laughs> just, just not my thing. <laughs> just holding on for dear life. Just wi- just waves yeah. spraying you in the face. Where's Joey? Uh, he's 236 <laughs> miles off the coast of Russia right now in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. there's red skies at night. Sailor's delight. <laughs> yeah. Sailor's delight. Hopefully. Yeah. Now are you uh are, what now what so what is it? Like tell me what you like to do. I like to go to a place. I like to go to a, nice places. Is it uh, is it cuz you want to see the structures? Is it architecture? Do you do you take pictures? No, like what's I, the nice If I'm going if I'm going if I'm going to go on a vacation. Yeah. I've learned. Yes. Why go on a vacation and half ass it? Why go on a vacation and mediocre it and like go like, okay, yeah, I'm going to a cool place, but I'm staying at a shithole, right? Or okay. like whatever okay. that looks like. Okay. So to me, to go stay someplace nice, spend a little extra money and do something because you're on vacation. Yeah. Is better to me than going and staying at some mediocre place and just having a mediocre time. So you're saying get a ni- you say nice nice room, get a nice room, nice a nice view. amenities, nice view, great bar, great pools, great whatever. And so you know at I mean? that Close pool, to then things, are you like, are you the guy that goes down to the pool for like six hours yeah. and take a little nap, read a little book, have all a little day. drink all day? Really? 
Yeah, I'm all pool, day. Pool all day. Yeah. Gotta, I sent you a picture. Gotta and get said, that sun. He said, don't send me a picture unless uh, it, there's a Speedo in it of me. And me and a Speedo. Well, last time you were trying to whatever. In the I thought about yeah. it. I thought about it. My back hurt too much. Um, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, so you were eight, eight hours. Don't you get bored, though? No, when the bar is cracking, there's people walking around. You talking meet, to you're people. meeting new people. People are talking to you. Spreading like COVID. Yeah, you got people bringing you drinks. So you're walking up to the bar. So like, it's, it's all social for you. It's yeah, social. I like to be, well, I like to relax. Are you, are you napping during it at all? Like, uh, a, like an hour nap in the sun? Just depends on what the day is. Okay. But it's more or less like having a good time, buddy. Wow. Relaxing. Why else do you go on vacation? You want to fly somewhere to a great, amazing place to go on vacation and just walk 30,000 steps a day? That's I me. think that there's time and a place Probably for that my, my on vacations, i.e. like Vegas or Disneyland or something like that. But like mm. to go to a place to like chill and relax and like get that sun in the middle of winter-ish, right? Yeah. Go catch that sun. Go dip your toes in the sand a little bit. Maybe hit a surf shop or two. Get, eat some good food, good drinks. Let's get deep for a moment on that. Okay, give me a beer. Though. When you when you were please okay, I'm gonna ask the question and then you're gonna start answering it. Okay. When you were a kid, what were your vacations and what did they look like? I didn't have vacations as a kid. Like, did was it camping? Was it was it leisure? Like, was it road trips? Was it going to Sun Lakes and sitting on a fishing boat for? You better be, you better be quick because there's not a lot to my childhood uh, <laughs> vacationing. Honestly, like my grandpa and my grandma and grandpa, I think took us to uh, Canasket Palmer one time, but they drove for like two hours to think that we were far away and we didn't have a clue where we were going. <laughs> and then next thing you know, we end up at Canasket Palmer. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, that's the Cumberland store. I've seen this before. Yeah, no, I was young. I got a new fishing pole that time. My sister dropped it in the river. My well, grandpa had to dive in and grab it because uh, I was pissed. Was it a push button? Was it one of those push button ones? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't know, maybe like eight or nine. I was pissed. Still pissed about that. <laughs> Sorry, Haley. Sorry, bringing that up. <laughs> <I'm just> uh, <laughs> but no, honestly, like I didn't. We didn't have like vacations like that. We didn't do anything. Like we would like a vacation was. We didn't. I didn't. I didn't even know what a vacation was until I went on one. When I was in college. <laughs> this is a vacation, guys? What is this? What are we doing? This is, <laughs> where's the work? Yeah. Um, Who are we playing this week? Oh, we're here for a week. And wh- okay. Okay. Um, I, uh, I, my parents kidnapped me. That was the thing. We, you know, Nowadays, I tell the kids, hey, you guys, Saturday morning cartoons was like the thing. And you guys, but now you guys can stream anything, jump onto YouTube, you miss something, you can DVR it, whatever. You get here... That was like, hey, sorry, you wake up early, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for school, and Sunday for church. Uh, Saturday is your time to where you can That's actually. your day. And then your parents your are day. like, oh, by the way, we're waking up at 3 a.m., and we're going to go throw you in a boat, and you're going to be on the lake. You, the mom, first- shit, I have not seen the Smurfs episode <laughs> that's coming on tomorrow morning. <laughs> so mad. That was, yes, that PTSD. So I would be just sitting there, bored out of my mind. And so those are my vacations, memories of, of, of a three-hour drive over to Sun Lakes, being bored out of my mind, getting on a boat over there, bored out of my mind for eight hours, and then come back, maybe have like a, like an hour of swimming, which is amazing, and or going putt-putt golfing, which like is fun. KOA or something, or what? Dude, it, Sun Lakes. Sun Lakes oh, Resort. Okay. 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 So, I've never been there. Yeah. Well, we need to go. Maybe <laughs> we'll do a full body cast uh, vacation one of these days. Okay. And uh, anyway. What are you thinking? Like Miami, Lauderdale? No, what I'm, are you thinking? I'm saying Sun Lakes, Washington. Okay. Cool. That's where we're going to go. Let me know how it is. But, but so now when I go on a vacation as an adult, people do this. They, they're, they're, when, they, when they don't have any food at home when they were a kid, when they become older, like I'm going to have stuff, my my shelves, my refrigerator full of food. I don't want to do what I I didn't have what I didn't have as a kid. I want as an adult. I can relate to that. Okay, so now it's like, hey, I was bored out of my friggin' mind on these vacations. Now I want to go to a vacation. I don't want to lay around. I want to go do stuff, see, see stuff, be a part of stuff. And gambling's like as fast as you could possibly go. You're spinning, you're spinning, you're walking from one place to another place. You're grabbing a drink over here. Your, ba- your your bank account spinning, spinning, <laughs> spinning negatives. <laughs> Anyway, love working all year for this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is so much fun. This is amazing, babe. You want to leave a day early? <laughs> Go home? <laughs> we might have to. <laughs> I've just been spinning and spinning and spinning all night. Spinning and spinning and spinning. Anyway, that's that's kind of where I come from with Do that. you have like a budget like when you go? Yeah. And then do you ever go, do you ever tap into the Okay, so, so it's, un- here's the thing. Tappables? It's the same thing as waking up from. Can you pause it? Can we go pee? Oh, that's a story. 
That's a story that I have for you. Yeah, so my, well, we're going to talk about that the P thing in a little bit because Seth had Seth said that there's a well, we're going to get to that in a second. Okay, he's got budget though. Do you ever tap into the into the just, uh, where no. you say like we're not touching these phones? It's like wake. It's like going to bed at and you go okay. I'm going to set my alarm, but I'm going to set my other alarm because I'm going to I'm gonna, I know I'm going to hit snooze. So that's kind of how we budget. Hey, we we really just want to, we really just want to gamble this much. That's all we really want to gamble. But we this know max we that we'll get. probably then here's that's the, dangerous though, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, but we had just sold the Sumner condo, so, so, <laughs> and now we don't even. We, it's like we never even had it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad at all. No. <laughs> we we lost money, but it wasn't. We were also responsible with it. So very nice. But uh, Seth said that there was a time where you guys had a haul ass. You and Jeremiah and uh, Seth had to haul ass. From like Enum Claw to Pullman for for something that you had we to had be a at. game. We had a game Friday night and then Saturday, back in the day, I don't know if they still do this, they used to like schedule tickets out, so we scheduled it. Well the game was at like noon. Like a noon game on a Saturday yeah, in yeah. Pullman. And so we played on Friday night. Yeah. And then we had to wake up at like we got up at like whatever, five. And hit the road to go to Pullman because we had I had tickets and I was meeting the coaches and doing some right. other stuff. And they said that's that, that for most people that that you could probably make it, but when you got a when you got a guy with a bladder the size of a the size of a thimble, it's it's hard. And so they I guess they just tossed some cups back there or some some. I was empty. in the pa- I was not in the back. Jeremiah was so he flipped the script. That was Jeremiah pissing the whole I time. I don't believe it at all. The way I've I, seen you. Oh yeah, take yeah. Forever. I would. My big ass was definitely in the back seat. Come on. <laughs> no. I don't know, man. I, I like how these stories are getting twisted right now. <laughs> yeah, Seth, maybe you should come on. Let's set some shit straight. <laughs> I love this because it, it does it does turn into telephone. It does turn into that telephone big time. game. Um, but yeah, so. So yeah, so you guys made it then, it sounds like, because you had made a, it. Good time. At a shit hotel, I remember that. But it worked. You just remember the shit hotel. Yeah, that was a good time. Like we, I mean, we, we were in high school. It's not like we do much, you know. But like, did it was they cool actually to see the re- campus? And they like, actually gave you guys a, a hotel room like at age eighteen. How did you guys get that? I don't remember. We had it though. I don't remember. It's just like, hey, I'm eighteen. Here's my fake ID. Did you rock fake IDs back in the day? Yeah, McLovin. No, I just some random dude. I don't even know who it was. I remember. Me always being the biggest guy, they'd be like, bro, go in and try to buy beer. I'm like, all right, pull over at this shit box right here. Let me see if I can walk in there. Walk in there and it'd just be like some little Asian dude behind there or whatever. And I'd be like, put it up there. He's like, you have ID? Me. Nah, man. Sorry, I forgot. He's like, can't sell? Me. Okay. Drove by there again. And I, I think it was with Billy Josie. And he was like, <laughs> I was like, man, let's get some beer. He's like, I got a fake ID, but it looks nothing like you or me. I go, give it, give it to me. Let's try it. So I walked in there and put the beer up. He's like, you got an idea? I'm like, here you go, man. Just like kind of put my head down. Him? Okay. Sell it to me. me. Yes! We went there every day. <laughs> every single day. Every day. Just nonstop. Every, every, we went there every single day in the summer. Not necessarily to drink, just to stockpile what we had. Just, oh, just, just, just in case, it, just in case. It, it got shut off? To the point, at one point, like I... Thing I bought for a whole party from there, and he carried all the beer and put it in the car. There was like forty-five cases of beer. <laughs> How did you guys get all this money? Well, I don't, we worked, dude. Oh, did you? Yeah. What did you guys do working wise? I used to uh, work in the summers and do like the um, Osborne Field and like do the landscaping and stuff for it, like the grass, cut the grass on the big tractors and all that stuff. Really, every day during the summer, five days a week. Yeah. Got that good tan then. Then I'd work out. Yeah, get that tan. Well, so were you were you rocking a, a, CD, a CD Walkman? What were you doing? Were you listening to music? I uh, get up and anti skip. I'd, I'd get up and work out in the morning, and then be there like I think we had to be there like seven, eight o'clock in the morning, and then <laughs> mow yard, mow, take care of basically all the fields on all like the elementary schools are close, not Westwood, but like close, right? So Kibler, um, JJ Smith. Southwood High School Junior High, all that we'd have to mow the fields and like so fix that- pipes, just like we were, just like the landscape, whatever. And then I'd get paid once a month, and it'd be like 
it's like 1200 bucks or something i'd be like yes <laughs> i Just made go, it I'd i made be, it mama. i made it i made it <laughs> I'd, I'd always go like buy me myself like some clothes because it went it, tough to find clothes as a big dude right sure so sure, i'd go sure. find some clothes and then i would Whatever, who knows? I just and it was that. So was that the the school district that paid you, or were you working for the city? School district, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's why I got paid once a month. Oh, so you're just like a teacher, mm-hmm. just like a teacher. Yeah, I got hosed. That yeah, probably a few times. Uh, well, we're we're getting to that point that we probably. I mean, we got about. 10 hey, minutes. you're writing a lot of stuff down over there, bud. Yeah, this is just notes for myself. Oh, no, it's so I know what to put for the description. Oh. I've learned how to pod a little bit easier and better. I now. thought you had some questions you were writing down there for me. You were probably looking forward to it. You don't have any. Though. Those are no, this is just what we're talking about. Well, uh, you showed up here today so pissed off that I didn't think that any, I was even going to crack a smile out of you today. So for those people out there, sometimes we, we rely on technology so much that when a, a freaking update happens to a laptop. I was here about two and a half hours uh, before it, we started. And it, this I started pod. this update like, three hours before that and it was still updating still updating still updating so finally we got it in <sighs> just happy that we were able to get it done man you know what it's so nice to see you can you tell me what you're playing when you got the hand pay like yeah you were talking yes. about blackjack yes. and all yes. this other stuff yes. were you in old town yes. were you at the yes. flamingo were you in freaking caesar's palace where were you at? i was at the flamingo were you yeah and it was one of those uh three real Stick. Old school, like the and old nobody sc- ever played. The old school, like it sh- there's not enough. Ding, that- ding, ding, and I got, I got uh, free games multiplied by five times, and I hit like some. Like, Were you actually three hundred dollar big- times fifteen hundred here? Yeah, Were you actually pulling the? Big I stick? pulled the lever first. By the way, it was my second spin. I put the put the hundy in, max bet with the press the button, max bet nothing. And I'm like, oh, this thing's got a little arm on it. I'm gonna use the arm first arm spin. Ding, ding, ding. Free games. Do you give them your social and all that stuff? And pay taxes? Give them all. I had to pay taxes on it. Yeah. Why don't you just tell them your name is like... Joey Hollenbeck? No, don't I say did. that. I did say that. Don't I'm, say I, that. Why don't you just tell them your name is like... I have a fake ID for for hand pays. <laughs> I'm just Seriously. Like, that's, that's where we should, we should start getting some fake IDs. Yeah. Just feds. What was that? I don't remember. You, just, a, you, you just get audited. Like, yeah. Just the Vegas Gaming Commission. What was that? <laughs> you, I get, you get audited like a couple years. Like, yeah, we noticed that you didn't pay like three or four hand pays at the Muckleshoot Casino in Flamingo. Yeah, I haven't been to the Muckleshoot Casino in, uh, yeah. I don't know, 10 years. What we're seeing here right now is you got your ID and your social security card. The guy knew the guy knew him both. And it you look like a little you. bigger in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe you got stung by some bees or something and you didn't have hair but <laughs> but it's you <laughs> your name's right here it must be you i got the clear i got the clear did i sell my soul to the government for for getting clear you went to the clear yeah the the vegas the vegas uh you're like screw it i'll sign up you just it, wanted to get the hell out it of was, there, huh? So Jamie already, Jamie already has it, and then so she gets into it, and I'm like, I, I, I want that. Her just, her just already at the casino at pulling levers just, in in there while you're in line for the next two hours. Her just Chardonnay, just like, oh, I'm on my sixth cup of Chardonnay. Are you just getting through? Did you just get through security, honey? Yeah, that was the case, man. I was so I go clear, and they're like, so then I I, I didn't know. I thought they just kind of did take a picture of your eyes. That was it. No. They want thumbprints, fingerprints, heart, fingerprints, butt prints, uh, toe print. They want everything. I, so I sold all my information to the government, probably China, and everyone else that can Idiot. tap into that. So, Idiot. you know, might as well just get 12 vaccines. Did you ever see that? Did you ever see? <laughs> no. And it's not, don't get me started on that. <laughs> did you get, uh, did you see the video of the lady that was sitting in the Vegas airport? They hit like 300 grand. Yes. That's yes. never going to happen again. Never again. How long has the I Vegas play? airport been there? At least first time in history, yeah, forever. Now, uh, did you see? We, we looked at it together actually. That video of that dude with three straws getting served a big drink. Here's your big drink for the night. He's got three, three straws. <laughs> the caption. Did you see what the caption goes said? in? I eyeball with one of them. Did you see what the caption said? What? I need a drink. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious <laughs> that is hilarious yeah that's pretty good yeah. can't beat the internet man dude the internet's got some great viral moments man it'd be nice if we could get vi- viral if, if, at some point if you guys want to share this it'd be great i mean i don't know just keep playing me we'll go viral we'll go viral at some point ready to go viral um 
Have you ever had something that you've posted? You don't really post too often, though. No, I don't mess with that. I like to look at stuff every once in a while, but no need to post my yeah. life, everything. I don't need to. Nobody needs to know everything you, you know, going on in my every second of my life. That's but see, here's the thing. That's just me. I, I don't mind that people do it. I just can't do it. I think people are great at marketing themselves. I yeah, think that there's a few from a we business know. standpoint. Yes. I think yes. that if it's from whatever, I just I, I don't know, man. I don't I don't. I don't know. You I know, got enough self confidence. I feel like that I don't need to. Yeah, and you've kind of you've kind of lived that. I remember when uh, for the first like I didn't drink until I was twenty one. Same. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't drink until I was twenty one. Dead dead serious. Um, I didn't really go to bars until like I was like thirty thirty two, and I asked my brother who did go to bars. He you know he didn't drink before twenty one. I don't think, but he did go to bars quite a bit. So I go to 30, like 31, 32, 33. I'm like, dude, bars are fun. You know, get music playing, have a couple drinks, get some food, hang out, talk to people. I just realized that the, the bar is like, it's like a vacation. I already do that. That's interesting. I just blew my own mind there. It's a vacation to go to a bar? In a sense, you got music playing. You get getting your drinks. You're socializing, getting a little food. That's that's the same thing as me going to freaking Cabo. Maybe that's why it's like, well, I already do this. Why would I want to go do this? Because you there? don't see the same people every time you go out, and you don't. You're not sitting in a freaking dark dungeon. You're like, you're you're at a new spot. Hashtag new bar places. vacation. Let's get this going. Let's get the hashtag bar out vacation. There. Bar vacation. Best bar you've ever been to. Quickly. Uh, Cold Street Brewery. But if I can't choose that, then the bar in Muslim. But if I can't choose that, Porto Wine Bar. But if I can't choose that. Uh, down in Denver, I went to Denver. This. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it had. It, they, we did like a pub crawl, and we came to this one spot, and everyone has it. Everyone's got the spot where you can get like whatever brew you wanted. They got bocce ball going. They got horseshoes. They got these guys had everything, and it was. But it was just like the atmosphere and being someplace else was fun. So I can get yeah. that vibe. They're that vacation vibe, right? Yeah, yeah, different. Yours, what Nashville or something like that? Tennessee? What do you say? What do you think your your bar is? Oh, Nashville bars are crazy. Chicago bars are amazing. Uh, Florida bars are amazing. But to be honest with you, the most like the craziest bar that I've probably been to with like the most extremeness and like different like vibe and like w- cool bar with like I recently went to a bar at Wrigley, which was amazing history. Wow, that was. Probably one of the, in my what was it top what, one, what was it two. that made it so sweet? It's just outside the bleachers, like um, trying to think of Murphy's, and it's just like a famous bar that's just like been there forever. It's like did you did you go? Were you wearing regular clothes? Did you go get a Chicago Cubs? Uh, I got a Cubs hat. Got a nice, Cubs. Got a you. Got a Cubby uh, tank top. Wow. Show off the pipes a little bit. A little bit. Did they sign you up? They're like, hey, you want to play outfield? And they're like, let me see you run to first. Me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay, you're third base coach. <laughs> you okay, just stand here and look good. <laughs> um, but the best bar I think I've probably ever been to, just like as far as uniqueness goes and different things like that, was uh, I went to a, when I my agent was in, out of Minneapolis and I went to this his assistant this dude uh, Joel Kelly was his name, great guy. Anyways, we went out on the town. You walked up stairs and it was like a half floor that overlooked down to the bar but there was probably eight different bocce courses but it was made of real grass like boxes oh, real, real grass boxes that they brought wow. somebody in and like mowed it like it was turf but it was real grass so you like kick your shoes off and sit up there and there would be like a waitress that would come and you just play bocce for as long as you want you just reserved it was so sweet it was a totally different vibe than I've ever been to at a bar. And then from there, it went out to another big outdoor like bar area up top. It was cool. Now let's it was ask- like a tri level bar. Okay, could so- not tell you the name of it, but let's ask this though. Do you think you know how we're loud? We're kind of loud people. We're funny people too. Okay, right. Yeah, I don't know if you give me a new spot. Like I might be a little more timid, but then I warm up. It's like it's like getting uh, in a not pool. Me, I go. You got to go in and own you just, it. You just you you can't you go in, go in and own it. Start talking to the start talking to the head cheeses. Yeah, just just know what's what. Like people, then people recognize you next time you come in, especially if you like the bar. Yeah, like get to know okay, like well, the bartender. I'm, I'm kind of like, like that, okay. but, but you kind of okay. But 
do you feel like these people it's just like people say uh yeah you know the, the stripper loves you or whatever it's, it's like but they're, it's just still a stripper like oh the stripper's totally into me yeah but she's a stripper right she's probably not into you she's probably into like that you might give her some money and stuff like, that. like that's that's her job mm-hmm. do you think that these waiters and waitresses are genuinely like enjoying our company yeah, or are I the, think so. In I my feel opinion. the same way. In my opinion, in my opinion, my opinion, the places that I've been, like for instance, last time I was in Chicago, right? Like, met like the manager of a couple bars or like you know restaurant bar places that are like nice, high end, like cool places. And when they see it, like stopped back in there one time, and the dude's like, "Great to see you!" Like handshake, hug type deal. Like, here's my business card. Anytime you're in town, make sure you come back. You, I mean, the hospitality there is totally it's, different it's, than yeah. anything that you've seen around here. And that's how I feel about with, when we, that dealer, Leah, at, at the D, was like, I, I felt like she was, or, or, you know, I felt like we were vibing well and it was a lot of fun. But at the same time, I'm also like, well, is it that, uh, or is it just that, you know, it, I don't know. I just get self conscious. I have this that. weird thing where, like, people, like, randomly, like, always talk to me anywhere I go. That's kind of the same thing. I think they're drawn to the eyes. And the teeth. You're talking about me? The smile. Me? You and me both. Oh, yeah. My, maybe my size, too. Si- eyes, size, and thighs. And smile. And smile. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> and hair. <laughs> oh. Or lack thereof. I got a nice beard. Shut up. So. All yeah. right, bro. Thanks for having me. No. <laughs> 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 well, we yeah, we looks like we do probably have to wrap this puppy up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, any shout outs? You want to do any shout outs or go Cougs going back to Pullman soon? Hey, when's the first game? I'd have to look. Uh, I think September it's Labor Day weekend, or we got to figure right that out after. next. We got to figure that out next. We got to figure out how we're gonna do. You know what I want to do? What do you want to do? And you can cut this if you want it, or you can keep it in. What's that? This is what I want to do. Okay. Now that we're bringing video to the game. Yes. We're going to get a piece of video to the game. This is what I want to do. You can cut this or leave it. Okay. This is what I want to do. What do you want to do? College football meals. Boom. Cook and have parties for cooker football. I like it. No, like that's going to be the thing. We're going to show them every recipes. Every single Saturday. Not necessarily every single okay, Saturday. Okay. But we show but them we'll show them, we'll show them yeah. recipes. We'll show how it's done. We will show a glimpse of. I need to quit my job. Watching the game, I got too much stuff. In They'll the fire. partay in. Um, sounds good. I like it. I like the idea of it. Let's see if we can actually make it happen. Um, so that's a no. All no, right. that's a that's a hit that's me up a, if anybody wants to do that. <laughs> if anyone else has a podcast out there, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If anyone else has any video, I would. I'm lo- I would. I'm loyal to the full buddy though. For some reason, hey, I can. If you want to buy Joey out of his contract, I'm, I'm open to that as well. <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> please please uh, i like to shout out everyone thanks so much for listening hey comment message i love the comments holly graf is very faithful in commenting Ka- Ka- <coughs> casey scott as well homer robertson shout out to him homer become a patreon man you're that close just become a patreon you you might as well be one and then uh, everyone else out there thank you so much desi be out there Get on there. Kellen Hall, he also he also likes to comment. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Enjoy your lives. Enjoy your uh yeah, your free lives uh for for now. For now. For now. <laughs> I'm not putting a mask on. Come get me. Come get me. All right, take care guys. Holla back. Joey Hollenbeck. <laughs>